Atisa returning to his country when there was a riot in the area which was attacked by Shola. Atisa brought Dharmak to his country and developed into the teachings of Tantrayana and Vajrayana. This location or place of study at the time of Ising 671-695 add here. Only the foundation remains. Alianton in the pre-Islamic period was the entrance gate to the northern area of the Indo-World City, starting from Siak upstream, mirroring Pantai Sermon approximately 100 kilometers, to enter through a road with a deep ravine on the right and left, this road at call the community the Hill Road, Horta Bones. The controller and ruler of this northern entrance was led by a commander named Shang Hyang Dadu Panglimo Buyang Amban, who was known firmly and fiercely, not reluctant to behead people who entered with bad intentions and confiscated their belongings and kept their confiscated assets in copper boxes. Black on the hill Amban dumped his corpse on the right side of the road, leaving the bottom, many victims and human bones. The lowest part of the bottom is the river, Puo, as the boundary for the division of duties of the guard area which is led by the right side of the Amban hill led by Shang Hyang Dadu Panglimo Mudo, to the Tandan area, the left side to the Puo area is Shang Hyang Dadu Panglimo Sikuban. The leader of the area after the north gate was Shang Hyang Dadu Panglimo Kampuo, and Shang Hyang Dadu Panglimo Sikuban, a line from his father named Shang Hyang Dadu Maharajadaraja Sikuban, King Banua Vassal, who was entrusted by the center of the congregation, the sons of him. This is what is called Tantra which is famous for its supernatural powers in this area there is a cave to carry out a high-level process of the advanced learning process after studying at the Dharmapala University, the area is close to the center of the puja. When and who was the Indian missionary to the archipelago until the sites of the pre-Islamic kingdoms were called Hindu Buddhist? There is no answer, because there never was, it was just labeling. Dr. Bennett Bronson 1973 in the Archaeological Research Report in Sumatra, which was made the 20th of May to the 8th of July 1973. The research was conducted by the Indonesian National Institute of Antiquities and Heritage in collaboration with the University of Pennsylvania Museum, Philadelphia, USA. From the excipation of the mound in the area around the main temple of Muaratakis, they found a bronze artifact in the form of an elephant-headed human, besides a bronze mirror whose side is covered with gold with a presentation reaching 83%, meaning almost 24 carats. Another discovery of Bajra, as well as the discovery of an inscribed brick which paleographically contains the mantra reads, Oma Binanta Kr Hum Fat Svaha. Inside the site, Kandi Bungsu, was found a copper box in which there are three pieces of gold plates that read 1. Om. 2. Ah. 3. Hom. On the side of the box there is a cremation trowel, sticks and weapons decorated with jewels on the right and left, the local language calls it oval sword, sulo. Third literacy text words Om. Ah. Hom. This is in Hindu Buddhist, not only in one. It means that the two Hindu Buddhist teachings that were born outside the archipelago use the same word. This is the word that comes from Dharmic original, which originated in Nusantara. This teaching was perfectly recorded in Bali and Bali, not India. The 11th century AD was the time of saving the Dharmic original books out of the ranks, including Tibet, Java, and Bali. In the Aliantan area, there is the name Suro Batu a form or arrangement of stones which in pre-Islamic times was used as a place for contemplation, or a place for samadhi tapo upasena. Namely the learning process, dharmic original, in the area of this form. Called, biaro, this was called by the previous society with, siro batu, namely, swaro, on a pile of stones which often heard the humming sound of brahmins rshi, masters who were doing spiritual contemplation, namely the hum of humming. Om or AUM. The literacy of the word Suro begins with the word Suaro or Suara, then changes to the word Suro, which after Islam means a place of worship. This is the same function of the place as was done by our ancestors during pre Islamic times. Kadachuan in Katanka Hill is the center of government as the residence of the son of Mother Dewey, who in Maharajakan, the city area is within a radius of 75 kilometers, with the center of the holy city as the center of the puja, Mongtakui, close to the place of study or university every year 2,000 people come. 
so it is still recorded in the people's memory the story of this area from its predecessors that at the gate which is covered by a seven-layered buffalo skin base, it can be completely eroded, because it is crowded and busy with people coming and going in and out of this area, namely the area. Ancient Ground Embankment Fence the area of the holy city of pre-Islamic Katachuan starting from the Basurit Stone Bridge area to the border of the Rokan with a population of 70 million people located between the surrounding hills, the market that provides necessities in the holy city the smallest market covering 38 hectares and a market which is currently covering an area of 68 hectares. Market or economic center named. 1. Shang Hyang Dui Puti Indo Jati Market 2. Shang Hyang Dui Puti Indo Meta Market 3. Shang Hyang Dui Puti Indo Myang Market 4. Indo Dunia's Shang Hyang Dui Puti Market. Katachuan in the seventh generation of the original breed, there was a distortion of understanding of, Dharmic, which leads to one godlessness and leads to collaboration with none other than God. Then at the request of, Shang Hyang Dadu Prabhu Sailendra, asked, Suleiman, in send a messenger to straighten out the original teachings. Namely to return to the teachings of, one God, which in the dialect in Katachuan reads, Hakayo God Nan Oso Tiado Rupo, until now is still familiar in this area, then sent a messenger named, Abdullah author, to meet, Shang Hyang Dadu Prabhu Kusumajaya, after making the approach and efforts to straighten it with the result that only his mother and nine people, Malam, returned to their original teachings, while, Kusumajaya, his wife and child still did not want to, at this time a natural disaster occurred in the form of a devastating earthquake. Drowned the Kusumajaya family and their families devastated by an earthquake measuring 9.8 causing the center of the puja to sink to the bottom of the earth and the remains were only the top which at that time was in the form of pyramids which was formed from a large pile of stones as big as a cupboard and in the center of the puja there was only one building which is now called, Tuo Temple. The Nine, Malam who returned to the original preceding teachings, during the disaster in Katachuan were, the, Malam, Pra Islam as advisor to mother goddess names recorded in the Pra Sribhajaya era before 78 AD or the Bathara Guru Rshi masters of, Dharmic original, among others. Filled circle Malam Budi Simarlambu, in the hills of Simarlambu, the eastern corner of North Sumatra near West Sumatra, there is a blue lake, this is where Bathara Guru Brahman Rshi, Malimbu, lives Malam Liman, at the location of Gunning Tua, Padang Lawas, the generation as, Mabaru, in the Hasebuan clan. Filled Circle Malam Demon, in Pakan Tua Baru Filled Circle Malam Bandaro, Shang Hyang Prabhu Dachuak Bandoo, in Mike Filled Circle Malam Bunda Ratu Puti, Diagri Banda Dalam Luwak 50 Sabungsu Filled Circle Malam Sadi in Batang Kapur Filled Circle Malam Tintin or Malam Bongsu in Kampar. Malam Puti in Pagaruyang, Periangan in the seventh generation of this lineage was born the, Pagaruyang, Sultanate. In the pre-Islamic era the Dadu were marked with colors in their clothes including red for the commander, green for the Hulubalong. In Javadvipa at different times with the same two names, namely, Shang Hyang Dadu Prabhu Sailendra, the elder person was, Aji Soko. During the attack by Kola to Katachuan there was a Dadu shop named, Kusumajaya, who knew very well of Katachuan because this was a place to study. He was from Singosari who joined Adityawarman in the Pamalayu expedition to attack the Chola. Katachuan was called or became named Sribhajaya, starting from the 4th century 58th year or in 458 AD, inscribed on the stone in the Basurit Stone, Banong, the naming term, Andiko 44. In the Sribhajaya, Katachuan existed or was formed after the Islamic era of the 7th century AD, while the Matarineal or Matriakot system where the mother, Bundo holds power in the, Katachuan, Ka Ha Ra Dachuan is a term in the Sribhajaya Katachuan that was used long before the pre-Islamic era. The Katachuan governmental power system, the owner of power is called the word, Si Ampu, the Ampunya owner, this designation in Manankabao some bar is called, Bundo Kanduang Tuan Gaudia, downstream which is now published, Malay, in call the word, Kwan, or, Empuan. In the system of government, Matarineal, Matriakot, in the center of the word, Si Ampu, the Ampunya owner, the pre-Islamic period was known as, Mother Dewey, one of the names was, Shang Hyang Dewey Puti Patma, this name was recorded on the name of the river in the site area that used to function as a bathing place for pre-Islamic students Brahman, namely the river, Om Patma Dewey, or the river, Om Pama, 
until now the local community still calls it the Ampamo River. The pre-Islamic period was known as Mother Goddess, namely, Shanghyang Puti Nan Batago. This term is still recorded in traditional stories as well as the name Shanghyang Puti Nan Batago. They include 1. Shanghyang Puti Tuo, 2. Shanghyang Puti Tonga, 3. Youngest Shanghyang Puti, 1. Shanghyang Puti Tuo, has the name Shanghyang Dui Puti Sangka Bulan. The building is in East Pasaman, Gunning Tua, Aceh. 2. Shanghyang Puti Tonga, has the name Shanghyang Dui Puti Galang Gumalo, in Kuala Partamuan 3. Shanghyang Puti Bungsu, has the name Shanghyang Dui Puti Lindung Bulan, in Kulo Amban once a year in its heyday the three of them gathered at the center and a pre-Islamic puja center called Mongtakui, was built after Muotakui, then became confused after the invaders until now it became Muaratakus, and named themselves as the Malay tribe, giving the name Maro Takus, those calling as Minang Kabao, giving the name Maro Takui, the word Takus, is the name of the river today which is 35 kilometers long. Tiwik, by the local community, this is a short term for the word Pertiwi, which comes from the pre-Islamic naming, Mother Dewey Partavi, here no website. The Kadri system in which the holder of power is a woman, namely, Si Ampu, while running the wheels of government is from the husband of her child or nephew in the post-Islamic period called Miniak Dachuik, until now in carrying out the task of carrying out the duties of Miniak Dachuik, accompanied by by some Datu, who work in accordance with the task with the title. 1. The Ampu, 2. Hulu Balang, 3. Panglimo, 4. Clever Clever, 5. Malam, advisor to Niniak Dachuik, the name, Kato Tuo, in the center of Kadachuan which is now a 13 Koto Kampar has existed since the early days of Islam from, Malam Putia. Kato Tuo, the initial name was called, Kako Nan Tua, which was known as, Sobe Nan Alui, later published, Sobe, from the word, Sobaria, whose pre-Islamic name is called, Shanghyang Dui Puti Sobe Nan Alui, nephew of, Indra Brahman, whose mother is the eldest brother of the third generation, Shanghyang Dui Puti Sobe Nan Alui, 7th century 27th his son converted to Islam to, Abdurrahman, the 7th century 40th century continued, Buyang Malam, was cut off by the Kola invaders and the Dutch continued after Adityawarman. Lan Tigo, in Kampar, now called Muaratakas village, de group calls, Lan Tigo, written Alahan Tigo, interpreted near a hill, 1889 written in, Tombo, with, Maro Takui, in 1882-1889 Yazerman made a picture the layout of the foreground of the Tuo temple, Malagai Stupa 1921-1922 year. Chrometh current situation of the Tuo temple has been piled up with the ground, namely when 17 envoys of the Dadu as negotiators were slaughtered and burned then just piled on top of the temple grounds and until now, this place has been published as a cremation place, as well as a background for the Kamdi Malagai Stupa on which the youngest temple was built. De Groot researches, draws and writes without, labeling, the object under study, such as a sentence written at the end of his report paper as follows. I do not make any judgments on what is conveyed and the image has value for ancient knowledge. I give the explanation for what it is, without drawing any conclusions, I hope this knowledge of the existence of these ruins, in this remote place, can be of use. De Groot, on the 16th of August 1858 I entered Tanjong village which is located in 12 Kota, a different area bordering the collapsed Batang Kampar cliffs around Kampong Jandi, from there the ruins of stone structures can be seen, there is a path from there, and some distance away. To the river, I went down to the right bank of the river in the village of Alahantiga, on the map of the west coast of the government of Sumatra by L. W. Beherink called, Alahantiko, where Dado lived in the loyal Bele, Dadu Dubalai, from Rokan to the east of the Rao area. The mention of the word, Rao, proves that Alahantiga is now in the upstream of the Kampar River, 13 Koto Kampar District, not Alahantiga which is in Lower Gumanti Salak, West Sumatra. At Alahantiga I was given information about the so-called Jandi settlement, that I knew it was a remnant of the past they called it Jandi City, and stated that it was a lost glory, remnant of Sumatra. Since it was not yet evening and we had already completed half a day of our trip, I decided to take a look at Jandi City I have mentioned before that the red stones used in Jandi City are made by roasting, 
because I have heard several times about old rocks and similar old stones which are made by simply drying. I do not make any judgments on what is conveyed and the image has value for ancient knowledge. I am giving the explanation for what it is, without drawing any conclusions, I hope that knowledge of the existence of these ruins, in this remote place, can be of use. The above sentence is what de Groot wrote without labeling what was in the picture and he wrote, Hindu, Buddhist. So from all the research other than de Groot it seems that it is not, consistent, with one of them whether Hindu, Buddhist. Balai Mabau, is in the background near the court building and the legal area of the beheading, here there is a temple that was dismantled by red bricks with plates and copper powder taken for recovery of the main site and the rest of the exhibition has been left with holes. The main core zone area in the holy city of Kadachuan is 16.7 hectares of the holy city with a radius of 220 kilometers, the center of the puja and educational facilities covering an area of 75 kilometers, the pre-Islamic bathing pool on the side of the ground embankment on the edge of the Kampar River. To take holy water to perform rituals at the center of the puja is called Tulago Suki, or Tulago Bunda Dui. The surface of the well is currently covered with water if the Kampar River overflows from the hydropower plant. This location and place is now called by the community as Well of Prohibition. In an area slightly inland, there is a red brick box building. This building is a relocation site which is located on the opposite side of the Kampar River, right straight from Tulago Suki, which is called Duck Temple, in pre-Islamic times was a place or cage for ducks from Mother Dewey, on the other side of the Kampar River there are nine temple-shaped sites with one background. The pre-Islamic, Dharmic original, holy ritual in Sribhajaya district before performing sacred rituals, the Brahmin performs, 1. Cleanses purifies the body 2. Prepare yourself with special clothes 3. Walk towards the ritual location 4. Arriving at the location to pay respects 5 carry out rituals.